David was raised right here on Mundura Hill. He attended Portland Hebrew Day School, now the Levy Day School. He's a graduate of Portland High School and Clark University in Worcester, Massachusetts. David pitched for the varsity baseball team at Clark. And he's probably learning this for the first time. Both he and I served as sports journalists in college. He was editor of their weekly student newspaper. I covered women's basketball for four years. David earned a master's degree in public administration at the University of Maine, spent the next several decades in his home state, helping to shape its public policies. He was elected to the Maine House at the age of 25. He co-authored legislation that eliminated mandatory retirement in the workplace, which enabled his father, Saul, to return to a sales job he'd been forced from at age 65. From 1982 to 1985, David served his first stint as a member of the Portland City Council and was elected by his fellow councilors as one of the youngest mayors in the city's history. As mayor, he established a sister city relationship with Shinagawa, Japan, and oversaw construction of the Portland Ice Arena, the renovation of Hadlock Field, and the groundbreaking for one city center. He would return to the council 30 years later for another term. He served as executive director of the Maine Democratic Party and for 29 years as a government relations executive at UNAM. His list of volunteer work includes time as a member of the board of Temple Bethel, where we both served together, and um, as a, uh, also the Jewish Federation and the Jewish Home for the Aged Now Cedars. For a life spent in service to his community, we induct David Brennerman today into the Maine Jewish Hall of Fame Please welcome David. Um, I want to thank the Maine Jewish Museum and the Jewish Hall of Fame for this wonderful honor and recognition. I want to congratulate the other inductees this afternoon. Um, it's a privilege to be inducted with all of them. Where's Howard Trotsky? Are you here? There you are. I served in the Maine legislature with uh, Howard Trotsky, um, who was being inducted today. He's from Bangor. Well, not originally, but he is from Bangor for many, many years. And while Howard and I voted on opposite sides of many issues, we were of like mind on protecting the environment in our beautiful state of Maine. So congratulations uh, to Howard. I'm also very honored to join the distinguished group of Hall of Fame inductees from past years, many of whom paved the way for me and my generation of Maine Jews to fully participate in the cultural, political, business, and social life of our community and state. It is on their shoulders that I was able to rise to positions that allowed me the opportunity to make a positive difference in the lives of other people. I want to thank my wife Nancy and our daughter Molly for the sacrifices they have made so I could do public service and the community work that I love. I also want to recognize my brother and sister and many family members from the Brennerman C.V. McCallum clans who are here, all over the building here. Um, and I'm so pleased that dear friends from many parts of my life and from near and far uh, have joined us today. So thanks to all of you. Regretfully, my parents are no longer with us. They, <clears throat> they were my role models for community service and for instilling in me uh, Jewish values, especially the value that you've heard today of tikkun olam, repairing the world. When I was a little boy, my mother and I would walk from our house on Monjoy Hill, which nobody does anymore, they drive. And that's how my mother lived to age 96. She always walked from Montjoy Hill um, to this very synagogue for the monthly meetings of a Jewish women's organization that supported children in Israel, the Mizrahi Women of America, now called Amit Women. 
So we came to this building, my Aunt Gertrude Heike Moskowitz, following in my grandmother's footsteps, was president for life, it seemed. And my mother was secretary of the board. And eventually, the Portland group was named after my grandmother, the Lena, the Lena C.B. chapter of his life and women. And another of my mother's sisters, Rachel Popkin, followed their path and became a leader of Mizrahi in Boston. At the same time, my father was attending board meetings of organizations like B'nai B'rath, Sherry Tefillah Synagogue, of which he became president, the Jewish Community Center, and for decades, the Jewish Home for the Aged, now called Cedars. In fact, my father and I were on the board at the same time. So what was it like growing up in Portland in a Jewish home? Well, in many ways, it was far different than it is today. Many or most Jewish families in Cumberland County lived in Portland. Now they are dispersed among the communities throughout Southern Maine, even in Otisfield. <laughs> at, at the time, many in the Jewish community were first-generation Americans, and I was one, as uh, my father was born in and emigrated from Eastern Europe. And while my mother was born in Portland, her parents, my grandparents, were immigrants from Belarus. I was raised in a kosher home, which uh, among my friends was unusual, but for many in Portland then, it, it was not unusual. And we had businesses here in the community that supported our ability to do that. For example, there were three kosher meat markets on Middle Street alone. Now there are none. My aunt and uncle owned a Jewish bakery, Rice's, on Franklin Street, when there was a Franklin Street. <clears throat> and across the street, another uncle and aunt, Louie and Bertha Seavey, ran Seavey's Market, which sold kosher foods. Our life revolved around Sheratophila Synagogue and the Jewish Community Center on Cumberland Avenue. Instead of public school, as was mentioned, I attended parochial elementary school at the Portland Hebrew Day School, now known as Levy Day School. My knowledge of Jewish prayers, my ability to read Hebrew, my commitment to my Jewish faith were all bred both at home and at the Hebrew Day School. I have always valued being part of a Jewish community that encourages and supports education, arts and culture, community service, social justice, and diversity. While the Jewish community of Southern Maine is no longer centered in Portland, we come together and support each other when the times and events call for it. Portland Jews have a strong history in this community, and I appreciate that the Jewish Museum and Hall of Fame celebrate the contributions not only of Portland's Jewish community, but by our people from throughout the state of Maine. While my parents influenced my commitment to community service, people often ask me why and how I ran for public office. It was not something I had planned to do. After graduate school, I was fortunate to receive an internship in Maine State Government, staffing the Governor's Tax Policy Committee in Augusta. And just as an aside, one of the members of that committee was Jerry Goldberg, who last, was it last year or the year before, was inducted into the Hall of Fame itself with um, his wife, Susan. This, is, uh, this experience triggered my interest in public office, so I ran for a seat in the main house from Portland and somehow was elected at age 25. And thus began my career in politics, which led to three decades working in government relations and private sector, and then a return to politics. Um, but I must say that I was also driven to run for office by the words of John F. Kennedy, who said, and I quote, one man can make a difference and every man should try, end of quote. So making a positive difference in the lives of people of Portland, the state of Maine, became my guiding principle. 
And I learned three things. One was it was important to collaborate, that nothing could be done alone. To talk with, with people, not at them. And most of all, to listen. Finally, I want to say that what is wonderful about Portland and Maine is that a Jewish guy from Montjoy Hill <clears throat> can grow up to be elected to the legislature, city council, and be voted mayor of Portland to chair boards of local, state, and national organizations, and to become a vice president of a major international company. So I appreciate the distinct honor of being selected to the Maine Jewish Hall of Fame for doing what I have loved to do for five decades. Thank you.